name is Scott here at Essen 2012. Uh, I'm sitting here with Maciej Zasowski yes. and Piotr Zhukowski. Perfect. Okay, gotcha. And we're here with uh, Kushna Gare yes. uh, with, for the 1984 Animal Farm. Uh, and tell us about it. Tell me about it. Uh, this looks uh, this looks pretty intense. I see I see a nice caricature of a number of world powers here: the uh, the American eagle, the Russian bear, uh, the Chinese panda, and somebody's a pig. Yes, <laughs> somebody's a pig. It's it's kind of our view on uh, South America dictators. Ah, nice. Maybe I like it. I like it a lot. Juan Perón, uh -huh, uh -huh. or someone like this. Sure. Sure. Chavez. Chavez. Yeah. Hugo Chavez. Yeah. These are the good names for being uh, yeah. pigs in our eyes. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, this game the name is 1984 Animal Farm. Mm -hmm. In it kind of relates to Orwellian theme. Yeah, but it's not. Uh, uh, we never intended to be an and a copyright infringement. Sure. Just an it's not an adaptation, but just Orwell an is, is a big inspiration. For okay, it's our, okay, it's our big inspiration. In 1984, there was a world revolution, mm -hmm. and the animals took over the world. Okay. And they started even big arms race than the humanity, and each world power wants to conquer the world. As you said, we've got U.S. eagles, we've got some some pigs, pigs yeah. We got gulag bear, <laughs> yeah. and uh, Mao Tse panda from China, kind of from kind of China. Kind, yeah, from kind of China. Uh, as you can see, those world powers on the board. We are missing the. European Union, uh, the, which is the fifth player the, in the the, the, the frog with the, the jaunty little mustache. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's us. Yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, the game uh, the game elements are uh, the board with a world map, which consists uh, five of the disputed uh, disputed regions that we as a players fight for. And the goal of the game is to conquer the world. Okay. And you do it by uh, earning victory, victory points. points. Okay. At the end of the game, with the longer version at the nine, end of the ninth turn, the player who has the most victory points wins the game. His world power is the world dominator, and, and it's winning. How do you? And now this is the, the most important questions. How do you earn the victory points, right? Indeed, yes, please. And you earn you the. Win them by uh, making revolutions. Yeah, okay. by supporting uh, revolutions in disputed lands. As you can see, there are five disputed lands here. Mm -hmm. We've got lions in Africa. Yeah. We've got parrots in Latin, Latin America. America. We've got kangaroos in Australia. Uh, in India, of course, it's a an elephant. elephant. An elephant. Yeah. And, don and donkeys, donkeys in, the, in Middle the Middle East. Gotcha. So, e the game is kind of cooperative because mm -hmm. throughout the game you co cooperate with your neighbors. So as I am the Russian bear, yes. I cooperate with uh, Mr. Pig from uh, <laughs> South America and Mr. Mao Tse Panda from China. Yeah. And we together, mutual, we want to start revolutions in uh, some in those disputed lands. For example, be between each player sit a revolution card. Okay. And it's indicating what kind of influences you need to start the revolution. For mm -hmm. example, to start the revolutions in the Middle East, mm -hmm. because those two are from Middle East, yeah. you need to invest. You need to invest the Middle East influence uh -huh. and, and one, some Australia okay. help. <laughs> yeah, Australia support. So, yeah. Some <laughs> Australia support. So when the players together add those influences, for example, Piot had. Donkeys and you had uh, and you had uh, some donkeys and some uh, some kangaroos. Then, yeah. in certain phase of the game, you discuss who puts how many influences. Right. So, okay. for example, you discuss that God will give one mm -hmm. and you will give two because it's in your interest. Right. So basically, there is a very strong uh, negotiations uh, phase also, uh, but of course. Uh, you don't have to always keep your promises. Okay. So, the, the, despite being slightly cooperative, it also involves very much negative interaction. And and, and both both of you are fighting against the opponent. So mm -hmm. when you two give those uh, those influences, you earn two victory points. You earn two victory points, and he earns two victory points. But I don't earn them. Right. Okay. And I see. there are. 
also for earning victory points there are uh, political mood cards mm -hmm. each round new political mood as you can see with this word pig enters uh, enters the the board you begin with some of them for example every joke is a tiny revolution means that if you only you give those influences you got extra point ah oh, i see or if you buy an advanced uh, advanced uh, ability card you get victory point or if you are if successful in a region you get victory point there are a lot of these cards they change actually they change the victory conditions mm -hmm. and you put them randomly on the board each round new one the, the old the one, one is discarded yes, okay. and, and the new one comes on the board for example there is a new region with pe pe penguins the one who wins can discard a victory point from the opponent okay ah, i see i see so you've got such 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 cards in the game so mainly you need to invest your influence tokens to get the victory points but now there's a question how you get those victory points yes. and that's the tokens. the, the tokens yeah. uh, the influence tokens of course i'm sorry and, and, the, and this probably the most important thing in the game because in one of the phases of the rounds you have to first you move your agents uh, the cubes represent your agents you move them around the board and then in each region uh, the players have to form alliances with each other uh, in order to get the, the influence influences tokens. and okay. how, how you do it starting from the region Marte's first region mm -hmm. in each region you discuss and form alliances to get those as Piotr said those yeah. influences for example in this region if you would start with this one the orange player those the pigs got four spies here yeah the China has three spies and the US has one only, of them. Only one. Mm -hmm. So now they discuss and it's an open discussion and negotiation and the alliance needs to be formed against at least one player because if there is a tie no one gets any influences. Mm -hmm. And for example, the so, yeah. Now is the situation here you can get some donkeys mm -hmm. and as you can see, well, let's say that we don't have that on on, on, on our card. We, both of us, will need donkeys to right. uh, start this revolution here. Yes. So I, uh, so I suggest that we should form an alliance together between the two of us against Maciek. Yeah. Again, against uh, against China. Against China. Yeah. Because I'm not here. I'm not even there. The Russia is not even there. Yeah. So. Yeah. But so. still, we we want to have it because we both have. Well, I have need for donkeys here, and I especially want and to and do you have need. I want to get a piece of that because I need donkeys over here. Yeah. So yeah. your strength of your agents is four plus one right. it's five against right. china three. three so china has nothing to say in this region okay and we and we can divide uh, and you the get... tokens as we like right. well basically uh, one agent you have in the region entitles you to take one influence token so in the okay. basic variant but, you got four but of this them is, look, but this is them. also subject for discussion this can be a subject of negotiation okay. you get one and the next region goes in this region i have three agents uh -huh. as a russia the US, so you've got one, and China has one. I don't need any. Oh, wait one second. It's too loud over on the microphone. It must be very annoying. Yeah. And it's in German. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most annoying part uh, of it. Every, every time it's like, uh, you need to move your car, it's going to be terrible. Yeah, someone <laughs> left the car in the toilet. Please yeah. remove it. <laughs> in the toilet. <laughs> Please remove your <laughs> transporter from the toilet. Okay. Getting back uh, to the yeah. game. As, uh, and in the next region, because each round you, uh, you resolve each situation in, in the region. So in India, I have three agents. Uh -huh. And the rest of the players, the China has only, only one, uh -huh. and the US has only uh -huh. one. So I'm an, I right. don't need any player. I just right. get three of them. I see. I just get three of them and then so on and so on each region follows what is extra in the game i haven't told you about no. are course. the abilities okay each uh, player can use some abilities to improve his uh, strength in negotiations or do some nasty stuff to other players each region each disputed land is connected with one of the ability types mm -hmm. and these are basic abilities that anyone can use 
and advanced abilities with those more of those you, you, you have to buy them you have first. to buy the okay. buy the ability okay and you can buy the using your influence tokens so you okay. use them to get victory points and also to buy the ability to use the, the to use those ability. cards right okay and in order to use some ability for example department of peace in the department of peace if you spend one lion because it's a lion right you get plus one strength in negotiations mm -hmm. so if there is such situation china could spend one lion and say right. i've got four, four here now. right maybe well right. maybe and, and, i will ally then, with us and then, and then us might look at china in that situation because it'd say well we both need donkeys and i know that donkeys that i get are good here and here yes that's right so this is how it works and yeah. and the, the each region has some specific abilities the lions increase your strength uh -huh. there are more of the advanced cards in the game and you randomly draw them at the beginning okay so there is like a couple of different variants mm -hmm. you uh, the Elephant, the India uh, elephants, elephants work, work, work like counters, so you can cancel another another player section. Okay. Or you can uh, actually dis and uh, choose an opponent and discard a victory point from him. Mm. Uh, kangaroos act like thieves or disruptors. You choose an opponent and dis discard one of the tokens of, your, of the opponent. So, for example, in this situation, you, let's see that you've got only two donkeys here, mm -hmm. and you've got one here, mm -hmm. and I'm having some kangaroos in my own influences. I might say, guys, it's a tough situation, you see. You didn't involve me in the alliance. I'm not glad. You will lose this donkey. Okay. Then you spend your kangaroo. It I goes spend my back kangaroo, back, kangaroo back on and the now board, you are and in a shitty situation yeah. because <laughs> you cannot fulfill all the all the revolutions because right. I'm playing against you and not my neighbor. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the donkeys act as uh, stopping ability when you take the influence, uh, take the influence tokens. This, for example, says that in in region chosen opponent doesn't take any. Okay. Or uh, the chosen re region generates two less. And the my favorite, for me, the most important ability Pirates. is parrots because they are connected with movements. Because in throughout the game, in your in, the, in each round, you can move only one agent from one region to another. For mm -hmm. example, I will in next next round I could move from kangaroos to parrots, and that's the only thing I can move on the board. You can move one, you can move one, uh -huh. but using parrots, you can, for example, you can use the advanced ability and, and then move three of your agents anywhere on the board okay. or one of the opponents oh, okay so that's very important and that's basically the whole thing that we wanted to say about animal sure. farm the last thing is of course the revolution cards change and they differ in next rounds they change Okay. Each three rounds they change, so the situation on the board must change, and you must Probably. change the alliances. Okay. Probably. So that's Good. that's the most mm. yeah. that's the most thing I wanted to say. Please come to our booth and play it. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really good. I like the. Uh I especially like the, the involvement of uh, the animal graphics in here, especially the the, 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 the regions, the uh, animal tokens for the oh the. Yeah, all of us going to zoom on each one. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. I forgot the camera's oriented. Oh, camera's oriented towards that way. Okay. Hey, put a Russia. Flop out and do the pig. Go to China. Okay. Like Wonderful. Looks great. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank All right. Okay, so now let's... Yeah, let's... Uh... Rzuć to wszystko po prostu.